Hello everybody, my name is BDFO18 and welcome back to a brand new LEGO Technic Speed Build Review. Today we're going on to one of these back here, but I've got two boxes because we are building both versions, one this week and one next week. The Monster Jam Grave Digger Product 42118 Technic. I saw this car live as a child at Cardiff, in Cardiff at the Millennium Stadium, which I believe now is called the Principality, if I'm correct, or am I being stupid? Probably being stupid, but either way, there is two vehicles to build. We have the regular one, which we're building today, and we have the buggy version as well. I'm looking forward to building this here. We have the off-road buggy as well, as it's called, but today is the regular Monster Jam Grave Digger. So we are now looking at the box for the Lego Technic 42118 Monster Jam Grave Digger. I bought this for $13.99 a piece for my local Argos, totaling about £27.90. This is a 212 piece set, and there are 54 steps only to the completion of the regular Grave Digger. Now, you compare it to Monster Mac Dalmatian with about 81 steps, this is considerably smaller. So, you divide the 212 by 54, and you get roughly 3.9 pieces per section which is good compared to other vehicles but this is a small one not too big i don't expect this video to be very long they were onto the back and as you've seen a couple times you'll see the regular monster jam grave digger and the off-road buggy there's some details it has a 1500 brake horsepower a supercharged v8 66 inch wheels or tires i should say uh, 645 pound tires and the vehicle itself weighs 12,000 pounds Let's crack this box open and get to the contents and build the Monster Jam Grave Digger. Here is everything for LEGO products 42118, the LEGO Technic Monster Jam Grave Digger, including the main bag and two mini bags, the pullback contraption, tires, a sticker sheet with 11 numbered stickers, and the instruction manual. As you can see here, there is 50 odd parts. Oh, we've got some nice images here. Da, 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 54 sections to this build.
And here we go. Here is the full build for LEGO 42118, the Monster Jam Grave Digger Standard Edition, not the off-road buggy that comes next week. Today we have the standard grave digger and it's a good build i'm not upset with this at all this is a very nice build. a little complicated in places to be fair for the size of the build it took me about an hour to build this thing um it's about the length of a speed champions build so surprisingly it took me quite a long while to build but um this is a fab little build it is it's just fine nothing wrong with it no major issues it does its does its job does its thing look oh yes if my memory serves me right, this is a bit smaller than the Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Uh, but this is a good size. I compare it to my hand. Here is my hand. So, yeah, yeah it's a decent size. Go from the end of my fingers there. It's about the size of my hand. I've got fairly big hands. Let's get my phone. So, you compare it to my phone. I've got a Google Pixel 6 Pro. It's about the size of a Pixel 6 Pro. So, about six and a half inches long. It's not a bad build. And I like this. So, everything that moves is this bit here. It moves up and down with the Gravedigger's bone or skull and crossbone. Uh, which we call it a flag obviously the pullback mechanisms I like the little exhaust placements as well on the rear left and right sides it's then snapped on just fine for this this is a brilliant little build for $13.99 well worth the purchase again took me about an hour we have some spares as well here are all the spares we have one two three four five six seven eight spare pieces for the standard grave digger I wonder how many the other one will have I presume quite a bit more let me know your thoughts on this build down below and as always leave a like and subscribe today if you're new and with that said i have been bdf018 thank you so much for watching this build and i'll see you in the next one take care